<coughs> so now we're going to take out the optical drive, CD drive, and we're going to put in an additional hard drive in a caddy. So we'll have the best part of 750 gig in there now, or when it's done. So lid off again. Now uh, we've got lots of screws in here. We'll start off by taking this little lever up. Uh, we're going to lever this connector off. This connects the SATA adapter on the optical drive to the motherboard. Nice and easy does it. We've got a few screws to take off. So we'll start with this one here which is the bracket. This bracket is attached. It's quite tight actually that screw. This bracket is attached to the optical drive. And then we'll take these off at the back. This is a retaining plate. This keeps the chassis together and a few of the critical pieces inside. It's attached, pins down the motherboard. What else does it do? Pumps the optical drive down as well. Next one, so we've got that one out, that one out, that one out, cables off. There's a screw down here, I'm not sure how to get to it to be honest. Turns out it is magnetic. So that's it for the top screws. Now we've got a torx bit we need to take off. I have four of them in fact. Sure across the top here. I haven't got a small screwdriver type style Torx bit. Fortunately, I had a T8 in my um, toolkit. Which is handy because I did start to panic. So, we're now going to lift this bracket off. first long black one out and we'll take this little one out here we'll put those two together Well, that's more screws than you can shake a bloody stick at. Right, we now need the adapter. We now need the adapter taken off of there. And we need this bracket. Or well, we won't get to bolt the drive down. So sadly, the bracket didn't actually fit. So I've just been out to the shed to modify it and hopefully I modified it enough because otherwise I'll be going back out to do some more. Yes, I took just enough off. And no, I was not impressed. I was incredibly pissed off actually. Because it took up quite a bit of my time to do that. Now, I can't remember what goes where. You go in there, okay. So, what we've done, or what I've done, even 
I've put this screw back in here, this screw back in here, and I cannot for the life of me get this one back in, so I'm not going to bother at the moment. It's going to have a bracket around here holding it in anyway. There's nothing to hold this corner in, which, again, is a bit of a piss poor design, because originally there was a screw here in this hole. So that's a little bit disappointing. If we're going to put the other drive back in, I'll have to refer to these videos because I can't remember the life of me where all the screws go. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm not particularly impressed with this one. There are more expensive ones on the net. This one was quite possibly the cheapest one I could find because that's how I always buy these things. The cheapest one I can find. No, if they don't work. I haven't really lost anything. Screw. Oh, I think it is. That might be that mini thing there. Oh, that's one of my top screws, obviously. That holds the cover on. I'm obviously being a bit special here. And no, I didn't have a trial run or plan it properly. Okay, that's it for small screws. We've got four Torx bits to go in, but before I forget, I'm going to press down on that connector, which connects the SATA adapter. So I'm going to press the power button, see how we get on. Yeah, I mean it boots differently, it doesn't boot the same way that it used to. So the Apple logo used to come up straight away before, and the screen was white, it's a much more off-white now for some reason. Once it booted. I mean that is quick. That is seriously quick. Let's see if it sees the other drive, shall we? I'll go to computer. Mac 640 gig drive, Mac SSD.